Hello, this is Ricky from Data Mastery and in today's video, we are going to see how to securely share data in Snowflake. One of the key features of Snowflake is how easily you can share the data with other accounts. So let's see how that gets done. So you mainly need to perform few steps. The first thing that you need to do is to create a share and then you have to grant the access for the objects that you want to share, like the table schemas and whatever you want to share with the other account. And the third step is to add the account ID of the consumer account. Now there's another concept called reader accounts in Snowflake, which means that if the consumer does not have an actual Snowflake account, you can create a reader account and share the data with the, with the customer. So whatever the charges are gonna incur, you have to pay for that. Reader account is not gonna pay anything, uh, but it is really easy for you to share the data even if the, your customer does not have a Snowflake account. And then we will see how to access the shared data and finally we will revoke the access on the shared data or revoke the access on the shared itself. So I have a um, database called Demo and then Public Schema. In that schema, I have a couple of tables sales data and employees. So let's see what we have in those tables. Sales data table contains a couple of rows and the employees table contains five rows. So what do we need to do first? If I want to share these two tables with another account, so first thing I need to do is uh, to create a share and let's call it a demo share, for example. So this already exists, so I'm gonna create another share Let's call it share one. And then once you create your share for your databases and for your schemas, you have to grant usage access because your tables live in the schema and schema live in the databases. So you have to grant usage on the database first, then schema, and then the tables. So the first thing I need to do is to grant usage access on the database, which is demo to share, share one. And the next step is grant usage access on the schema, which is demo.public to my share, which is called share one. So now we have granted access on the database and the schema. The next thing that we need to do is to grant select access. So you can even grant more than the select access the select access means your consumer account will only be able to read the data and they won't be able to modify the data. So I'm just going to grant the select access on both of my tables and add that to my share, which is share one. And same goes for employees table. Now we are done with granting the access, let's try and list out the shares. So this share one is the something which I just created and this looks good for now. Now the next thing that we need to do is to grant access of this share to my consumer account. Now for that, we can run this command which is called alter share, then your share name and then you can add accounts and here goes your account ID. Now, if you have your existing Snowflake account, then you can put that account ID. But if you don't have your account, then what are you gonna do? Well, in this case, you can create a reader account. So how you can create a reader account? There are two ways. You can do that using a SQL statement or you can also use a Snowflake UI for that. So in order to use Snowflake UI, you can go to Accounts under Admin, click on Reader Accounts, and then create a reader account. So here, uh, let's give it account name. Let's call it sales reader. And for username, we call it sales admin. And then I'm going to put a password here. And create the account. It will take a couple of minutes before your reader account will be ready to use. While this is getting provisioned, what we can do, we can select this account locator 
copy this go to the sql worksheet and paste it here so what is gonna happen now i'm going to share uh, the share one which is my data share with my reader account and run this statement run the show shares statement again and now in this case you will see that this is an outbound share this is the main account the share name is share one database name is demo and this is my reader account which i'm sharing this data with so it will tell you that okay you have this share and you have shared the data with this account now let's take a look at your reader account Okay, the reader account is provisioned. So click on your reader account. And now you can see that you have a share which we shared from our main account and the data share name is share one. So go back and how you can access this share in the reader account? Well, to access the share, the first thing that you need to do is to log into the reader account. And how can you log in? You have to copy this locator URL, copy this. And now you have to put your credentials, the username, which was sales admin, and then the password that you configured. So let me copy paste. So now we are logged into our reader account and here switch to the account admin role. go to data products in data products go to private sharing and here you can see that you have a direct share and the share name is share one which was shared from our main account so now you can see the share now what we need to do is we need to consume this share in our reader account and try to access the data so go to projects go to worksheets and create a new SQL worksheet. So you can run the command show shares. This is similar to what we just saw in the Snowflake UI. You can see that you have this inbound share, which is uh, share one. And this is what, uh, uh, the, what we shared a few minutes ago. Next, we can try creating a database from the share. Let's say create database sales shared db from share here you have to specify the account id which is this and then the share name which is share one so the sales share db has been successfully created it has a public schema in the public schema it has two tables, employees and the sales data. So run the select statement, select star from sales data. So in order to select a warehouse, you can go to admin, then warehouses. You can also create a new one, for example, sales warehouse which is standard type standard and extra small create warehouse and then go back to your projects your worksheet and here you can select this uh, sales warehouse and set that as default as well so now try to run the select statement again and here you can see we have two rows in our sales data and select from employees and we have five rows in the employees data so it shows you how you can access the data in another account which you shared uh, from your main account so now let's try to see if i make a change in the main accounts table so let's go to my worksheet so for the employees table, I have five rows. 
and let's add a new row insert into employees values six and the name is Joe let's say ML engineer and the salary let's say 90,000 okay one row got inserted into employees table okay I have six rows in my the main table or the table in my master account and I go back to my reader account and you can see that my reader account has six rows now so this is a real-time sync that's happening but the reader cannot delete any row if I try to delete a row for example delete from employees where ID equals to six you can see that operation is not supported in reader account so you cannot delete anything because we did not give you the explicit grant and since the name says reader account by default this data is used only for reading but even if like you're using a real snowflake account not a reader account it also depends on what type of grants that you have provided when you are sharing the data now if you want to revoke the access so we granted the access to this these tables similarly you can revoke the access so let's say revoke select on table demo dot public dot employees from share share one so earlier I was granting the access now I'm revoking the access from the share and run this statement go back to your reader account refresh and now you can see that the employees table is gone so this is a real-time sync that's happening it's not like uh, you're creating a copy in your reader account or you're in your consumer account It's the real-time link because whatever the data that is being updated in the share from the master account the same data that you can see in your consumer account so this is a nice way and very easy way to securely share data with other Snowflake accounts. And if the consumer or the customer does not have a Snowflake account, you can simply create a reader account. That's all for this video. I just quickly wanted to show how you can securely share the data between accounts and also uh, real-time syncing, and then you can revoke the access as well. Hope this video is helpful. If you like the video, please do subscribe to our channel and do hit the notification bell icon as well so that you get notified as soon as we publish a new video. Thanks for watching this one and stay tuned for more videos.